Inside the Ropes, taking you behind the scenes of tournament preparation. Today is really the formal practice round, being that the players are playing organized matches or practice rounds. Uh, I think yesterday was really just a day to sort of get everybody acclimated to what they're doing, get the processes down. Today we worked a little bit more on timing to see exactly what we, where we at were on the golf course as far as uh, timing and that kind of thing. And from here it's just a matter of refining the program a little bit more. But I thought today went really smooth. There, there is a few changes we will make going into tomorrow. Uh, and maybe some change with personnel, but you know, right now guys are just coming in, going back out to do some more cleanup. Uh, we got to continue to mow rough inside the ropes here, so we're going to do uh, today around tees and around greens. You know, uh, green speed, we're probably trending a little bit too fast, too quickly, uh, so we're probably going to have to take out a process. Uh, at this point, we're just going to really see with the green slow down during the day, uh, being that you know the matches are really not that long. We're not really anticipating losing that much speed, but right now we're probably a little bit ahead of pace where we need to be, especially for this event. So it's a matter of us figuring out exactly what we want to take out of the program, and uh, we'll, we'll look at that and make a decision tonight. We have typical dry areas on greens. So those are the first spots that we go to, as well as keeping in mind things that, that could change around the other green. So we go around, we probe, we have a certain number in our mind, and uh, you know anything lower, we kind of you want to bring that back up so we maintain consistency on the green. So basically what the probe you saw us on the greens with allows us to see that in a number. So basically say we're shooting for like a, a 12 and you get a number that's down to 10, you throw down you know, a little bit of water. Yeah, so literally we just mow one pass and we come back on the exactly same pass on every single green. With plastic, we move every ball. We make sure everything is just perfect. We check the green before the, the we mow it. We check the green after we mow it. It's, it's a long process, but the result is here. So this is my second season here at Mirfield Village. Uh, I did an internship last year and was offered a job to come back. So with the President's Cup being here, it was a kind of a no-brainer. So came back this season and. Uh, Things have been going well, it's been a great year for us. Last year I did volunteer for the Memorial Tournament and obviously I did love it. The course is just beautiful and the crew is just awesome as well. Everybody is really welcoming and I was like, President's Cup? Why not? The second biggest event, like team event, no, I can't miss it. I was here for seven years before I uh, left in 2010 to uh, take on the new role in, in, at Crooked Stick. Camaraderie, satisfaction of being here, uh, a little bit of nostalgia, um, you know, making me miss it a little bit. So it, it's, uh, it's always a pleasure coming back here. I love being around these guys and, um, you know, just happy to be here. Controlled chaos. Well, it's, you, you know? it feel like chaos though. Yeah, but it's controlled. I mean, it, it's all about, you've got a certain amount of things to get done and, uh, and the only way you get done is through teamwork and through organization and you know the the more organized you are the, the smoother it goes and you know you've got say 50 50 people here that are don't know the course but you have you have a whole staff that you really lean on that week to uh, uh, make sure that it can get done you can't be everywhere but as much as you try and it uh, it all works out in the end organization that's the first point I did learn it's organization Everything is just like run smooth. Everybody knows what they have to do, how they have to do it, and attention to details. The more these guys do it, the better they get. I mean, come Sunday, it's almost going to be clockwork. I mean, it, it just I think every day you take more and more time off, and not only just a matter of the time, but the quality gets better and better every time. Paul's a great superintendent and just a wealth of knowledge for everyone here, and I, I can't say enough good things about him, and I've learned a ton from him. Having to host a tournament with him, and it's a great experience for me going forward. For me personally, um, you know, honestly, being here for seven years, uh, seven memorials, I I credit this place and Paul to everything in my career. Um, you know, he's uh, he, he's a great mentor, and uh, you know, I, I still always come back that he is he's the he's the guy that positioned me to succeed and uh, for me it's not just today it's it's about you know 12 years worth of time with him that uh, really um, has positioned me to be successful. 
all the 15 hours per day we do here because that's the best memories ever. You make friends, you build your network, and you can see the players we, we maybe never see again, and you walk on one of the most beautiful golf courses in the world. Can't beat it. <laughs>